Oh, thank you so much, Zangiri. You are a star. I was trying shift plus number, but I was only hovering over the item. So, for example, if I wanted to, I would do shift plus one now. There we go. That that was my frustration as I tried shift, control, alt, but I didn't want to start just randomly pressing buttons. But I was just hovering over them in here rather than selecting them. That was my, uh, that was my um, uh, failing there. Thank you, mate. Bishop Prez, always nice to catch your stream. Oh, thank you, mate. Second month, best month. Thank you very much for the support. It is hugely appreciated. Yeah, the cotton grows crazy fast. I mean, with a well active, things grow crazy, crazy fast. But that should mean that we are now able to upgrade our barn to level four. I mind you, with 50 coins. Uh, right, we've now got gourmet food, the kitchen, more houses, and metallurgy. That is going to be amazing. Right, let's go ahead and uh, start learning that straight away. Uh, how are we doing with uh, sale of shirts? Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, could do with sale of other things, like planks, for example. Well, you know, I'll make you some money. Not a lot, but yeah, a bit of money. Um, cloaks are bonkers, but they can only be sold at uh, houses of level three or, or more. Uh, how does one make cloaks again? Leather, yes. We want to get leather anyway. Ultimately, because we really do want books. Books are a uh, big upgrade potential for us. Uh, how are we doing in the marketplace? Wow. How have we got green over here? Oh, I know. Yeah, we're, someone's gathering green. Oh, my lord. Really? That will never, ever get used. That is never going to be used. I appreciate your dedication to the cause, though. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I no, no, stop, no, stop. Both of you, thank you. You can go back to the worker lounge for a bit. There we go. Don't need that. <laughs> Let's just clog it up the image. It it'll never be used. Realistically speaking, no one is ever going to choose that over flour. Um, and since we've got a stockpile of flour, that's just never going to happen. Uh, but we are looking good in there. We are looking good, but now, oh, now we can make the kitchen, and that changes ever so many things. Ever so many things. Um, it is gonna, yeah, it's gonna change a lot of stuff actually. How are we gonna manage with that? I'm not sure, because right now this is quite tightly packed. I think ultimately we're gonna have to branch off and have like a food production area. That'll be the way that we deal with that. But for now, this is going well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade these houses. There we go. We've now got uh, 58 of 17. There's 63 happiness, which I'm extremely pleased with. How's everything going on back here, peeps? We're doing all right. We do not need this many peeps here, though. So I'm going to grab you two. You're going away as well. There we are. That will work. We can actually shave off some of our houses at this point, I would say. Well, yeah, yeah, we could we could easily shave off one house. Um, one level three house could go, thus reducing the consumption of, of goods. But if we did that, it's it's kind of a it's a false economy because then you don't make as much money because there are less people to buy stuff from you, and that that's needed, really desperately needed. Um, but yeah, I think uh, getting books would be a very very important one for us right now. So perhaps we could look into that. Boats too would be very nice. We've got some iron, some coal. Got iron coal over there. A kitchen, again, would just be amazing. Even if all we use it for is to cook fish, frankly. Because if we have a look in here, cooked fish is worth twice as much. And it just uses the same resource. Maybe we could go for that. Mind you, cooked chicken is, is quite amazing, but fish is really easy to get. Um, that's the that's the big thing with, with fish. 
is you can get fish crazy, crazy easily. But okay, let's have a look at the, the kitchen. We've also got the gourmet foods, but uh, we're going to have a look at the kitchen first. One peep. Uh, I could have it over here. I don't think they're going to need any water, but I could build it there anyway. Just uh, along the pier here. Uh, I think that would be my nice. This doesn't need to be here at all. I'm building it here because I can. Um, it's going to use up a, a population spot for no really big reason. but um, So it'll take us five seconds to turn one uh, regular fish and one fuel unit, which is a fertilizer is a fuel unit. Um, and with that in mind, we could actually just funnel. <laughs> ah, poop cooked fish. So delicious. Such a rare and, if anything, too, too flavorful flavor. It's it just got too much, much, uh, too many notes. Too characterful. Um, but we could turn fruits and sugar into jam, which will be sold at the Gourmet Foods. Yeah, a lot of these get sold at Gourmet Foods, actually. Ah, all of the soups and stuff get sold at Gourmet Foods. Right, 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 okay. That's not bad. I could turn the bread, uh, the flour into bread, though. That is actually a really big upgrade. Because that flour is only worth four. But for one food unit and two flour, so eight coins uh, uh, in, in terms of the equivalents, we'd get 12. But the fish is just so easy to, to work with. Because it's just there. And we could just, like, plonk it straight in there. Coal would be one of the better fuel sources to use. How are we going to get her over there is the question. I could have a miner just plonk it into a crate and then have a wagon deliver every now and then. That might actually not be a bad idea. Um, or, in fact, from all the way over here, we could do exactly the same thing. Uh, sure. I think that might be, might be quite worth it. Let's bring this all the way along to there. I could also use uh, stone roads to drastically improve the speed of my uh, wagons, but I'm, I'm all right with that right now. For the time being, I think we're good. We are going to be working on fish. Now, I could make fish oil, which is so, uh, saleable in the apothecary, for blue coins. Now, that's the next thing that we're kind of going to want to have. But for the time being, I think we're generally okay. Um, I would like you to move fish directly in there. Also, I would like you to move fish directly in there. There we are. And then I want a new wagon. And over here. Hither, I'm going to need to remove some of these resources, no matter what I want to do. There. Yeah. Um, something uh, around here should be fine. Let's build it up, though. Build out a little crate. Over here, some. Oh, actually, looks like it needs to build up again. Oh, that's a bit of a shit. Um, uh, all right. I am going to lower this down then. I was trying to avoid it, but. Ah, I see, yeah. But of course, now that I've built this here, I need to get rid of them first. I don't know why some buildings that will allow you to terraform around and others not. Seems kind of arbitrary sometimes. Since I've already terraformed it a bit, there's not really much reason why I'm sticking to not terraforming the rest of it, but... Ah, well. We now want the crate about here. Then we're going to want a good many peeps to uh, mine all of this. Okay. Oh, 
There we go. The forge. Ah, the silo. New research. Steam power. That is going to be amazing. Railways. Uh, research available machinery. And boat building. Hooray! That also leads to the fishery. Uh, that's not something I played with before. So that's going to be quite a new one for me. Uh, I would like you to bring the coal to the kitchen. Uh, chips are the British term for the American French fry, right? Not like Lay's potato chips. Uh, chips are not French fries, no. Um, French fries are very slender. Um, and chips, like we, we call those fries as well in, in Britain. Uh, whereas chips are something very specifically... Uh, well, it's not like a shredded potato, which is, you know, if you imagine how, how thin thighs are, it's more or less like a shredded potato. Chips are more like just a, a cut potato, just a, just a, a kind of a, a chopped potato in lengths. Um, so, yeah, thick fries. <laughs> That's a good way of describing it, yes. All right. Are you able to drop these off at all? I'd really like it if you did. All right, you go there. Okay, I want you to start delivering those. You can just drop these off there for now. Our little friend here will eventually move them all across. This should be good for a while. That is now empty. Excellent. Goodbye crate. Can I get rid of it? No, oh, no, I can't. That's annoying. Okay. And I think... An extra peep or two. Just to keep the fish going. There we are. That should be doing quite nicely. Let's have a look now at how they're chonking through that. They're getting through it reasonably fast, but I think it should be okay. Uh, right, so with that done, now, the other thing we can do is we can start using wagons. Like, once we've actually got metallurgy going properly, we can start having wagons deliver stuff. Uh, sorry, wagons. I, <laughs> it took me so long to stop calling, calling, uh, minecart trains in Automation Empire. And now I'm, I'm back to calling, uh, what, an effectively, uh, um... Trains, mon uh, wagons. Damn it. I'm having a really good New Year so far, Ugrak. I hope you are as well. Imagine wagons. Uh, I think I'm going to give you an extra worker. Let's uh, bump that up a bit. There we go. Yeah, eventually you're going to... Uh, create the bottleneck there. Oh, I'm very glad to hear that your bath was nice, Cancer. Nothing like a nice long soak. Right, okay, we need to start looking to work on metallurgy because we very much want to get to mining. Oh. Both building, though, would be pretty cool. Not gonna lie, that would actually be really nice. But mining is where we want to be at. Railways, machinery, because we're gonna need machinery in order to do it. Um, machinery is really where where we need to be right now. So, machinery is the next thing we're gonna work on. But so far, things are starting to uh, come together quite nicely. We've got lots of potential growth in our houses. We filled up all of the cloth that we need. Now it is iron plate, so I think time for us to build in the best location we can find. Oh, look at how flat that is, man. How glorious. Um, I think this is probably one of the better locations that we're going to get. Let's set up a bit of uh, smelting. I would one day like to build the, the gourmet food, but we'll, we'll get to that. 
ultimately, I would love it if we could really just focus and build a an area where ev oh man post uh, where everything that a house wants is supplied, where everything is just just completely uh, full across the board. That would be so good. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Truly. How are we doing with fish? Are we still low down? No, the fish is starting to, to, to fill up. Excellent. Once we start seeing that actually uh, back up, oh, that's going to be happy days. Super happy days. Then we can start considering moving on to the next thing. But ultimately, I think uh, it'll probably be bread. That's my guess. Bread would be, make the, would be the next most logical choice. All right. We want iron plates, and we kind of do want nails as well. Now, again, because of the way they alternate, it should do one and then t'other. Should. Can't be 100% on that, though. Two for each. Uh, this is not going to be efficient, and I do apologize for that. You're just going to have to live with it. Uh, we are then going to want two barns. Yeah. One barn for the storage of, I would say, uh, plates, and the other for the storage of nails. Actually, let's get rid of these first and place down the grabbers first and then program them so they don't pull the wrong thing. So you want iron plates over here. Let me have a look for you. There we go. And nails down here. Where are you? There we go. There we are. Perfect. Right, let's have a watch of how this works. So nails are being made there, nails are being made, nails are being made. Yeah, it seems that it is it is not going through the round robin as I was led to believe it would. That is quite a shame. So it's gonna fill up on nails first and then always give priority to the nails. This is where computing uh, competition box would work. It would be really good. Because you could shut down the extraction of nails if the there was too few metal plates available and so the nails would very quickly back stuff and then it would only focus on making iron plates but uh, they will very quickly fill that up but I, I guess I could pop that on to uh, hold for a second there we go That'd be a bit, bit better there we go now let's see what's going on in chat <laughs> no bath bomb. Oh, cancer. Don't worry, we will go to Lush before you head back to Norway. Yeah, it does seem that I only need one person working on the coal. I'll wait for you to drop off and then I'll get you to go and start working on gathering more iron. Whichever one of you wants to drop first. There we go. Iron, please. There we are. That should do okay. Yes, yeah, it's because coal is such an efficient fuel source. Um, coal is worth four. Magma, of course, is the best, but it takes a little bit more time. That's fine. I'll just leave that as. Right, so we've got 17 iron bars. 
We need 40. Uh, it's going to take a while. Uh, what can we build then? Are there any particular new buildings that we can make? We can make silos, which are actually quite nice. A silo over here, for example, would be glorious. The nice thing about silos is you can build them right on the uh, river's edge, and you can just have them boats come and pick up from them. That would be very much appreciated. Right. I only want iron ore in here, please and thank you. You can draw iron ore back there. There we go. And then the iron ore can be shooted down. There we go. I can have shoots delivering to the silo, but that's, uh, there's not as much use here because it's uh, got such a steep uh, incline that I can't build the, the shoots uh, along vertically, so it's not as useful to me yet. Right, with that happening though, how's our research going? Building up steam is going to be fantastic down here. But it is, it is a fair investment of time and, indeed, energy to get there. Uh, what else can I make in this workshop that I'm not currently making? Just out of cloth. Nothing, I don't think. Oh, I can make bandages, which would be sold in the apothecary. Well, I've got a ridiculous supply of, of uh, materials, so... Yeah, apothecary. Can I build one of those yet? I don't think I can. What do I need for that? Base level 5. Okay, we... Oh, there we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that. Apothecary unlocked. Marvellous, I say. All right. The issue here is I really... Yeah, I'm, well, I'm totally going to do it. It's, it's just too good of a position. That Yeah, I just need to cleave off a little bit to fit it in around here. Terrain flattened down. And stick that up a little bit more. I can't. See, this is the part I don't understand. Is it used to not allow you to do that? It's so strange that you can, in some cases, but then generally speaking, still run into the problems of you can't move stuff once it's built. Uh, or rather, can't manipulate the terrain once it's built. Oh, man. 20 iron plates. Poop. Oh, well. But start producing bandages for me, please. When you have nothing else to produce, produce bandages. <laughs> it doesn't seem like three hours. Avak, do you have some sort of timey-wimey powers? I know. Everyone from Wales has timey-wimey powers through the proxy of, of Time Lords. I think... No, we're not seeing the cooked fish stacking. Oh, that's a shame. It's almost there, but I think we just need a little bit more. A little bit more of a push to get that all the way through. That being said, we could probably do it. If we run a path all the way under here. Like so. And out. We might actually be able to get a wagon through there. It's... Got a potential for a bit of a problem, but uh, because this is so narrow, it does cause issues. What I would love is is the like large, high capacity wagons that they have now. All right, let's let's see if it causes too many issues. Bump took you all of like a second to mess up. Darn it. My. Uh. If I have born, thank you so much for the Switch Prime. 12 months. Please put plenty of love in chat. Fireborn there. A uh, little overdue, I would say. <laughs> oh, never. Uh, I hope you had a really wonderful New Year's, mate. Okay, well, what we could do then is maybe just push this over just a teensy, winsy bit more. No. 
Alas. Um, that being said, I tell a little lie. We might be able to. Yes, we can. It does mean that some of my wagons are going to take an obnoxiously long route around here. Like crazy and obnoxious, but... It will work. Just it's not pretty. Uh, apothecary. Can we build you yet? Yes, we can. Let's park you down then. There we go. I want you to try and move the fish again. You're going to bounce, bump, you're going to leave, you're going to repath. No, you've now got a new path and you're going to stick to that new path, even if it is uh, horribly inefficient. So much bouncing around. There we go. This is the main one that's the problem. Oh, well. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that is an issue. There we go. Yeah, no, no, that's right, you scallywags, you. I think they may actually reduce the, the speed that we can get the fish there rather than increase it, but we'll let it run for a little bit and see how it goes. Uh, right, I want another wagon, though. Heavens knows why, I know. But there we go. All right, going to start delivering... Uh, bandages. I mean, poultices would be nice. Uh, or medical reps, remedies, or just plain old herbs would be good. Fish oil or ointment would be super good. Fish oil is made in a, a kitchen, and then I believe herbs are added to make it into ointment. It's worth 10. Whew. But they do not seem to consume... These materials fast. Ooh, wow. But regardless, we're now providing that much more happiness. Our productivity is plus 50% now. If we wanted to make fish oil, we could. There. Now, do we make ointment in here as well? Is that in a, a workshop? I think it's in the workshop. Yeah, it is. Uh, so if we have a look at the ointment. Oh, can we not make it? Oh. Uh, we've got to research for medicine. All right. Very well. Still, we could grow herbs and sell them, just straight up sell them in the, the apothecary. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad move. Spilt my drink. Uh, I mean, fish oil is not a difficult one to make. It's actually really, really easy. I get you a decent. I wish you could make tunnels in this so badly. <laughs> Imagine how awesome that would be. Um, you know, could just tunnel all the way through there and just deliver it straight to the apothecary. That being said, would we be able to... Hmm. The apothecary might actually be able to reach them just from over here. I wonder. Technically, but I don't believe it'll allow me. Well, maybe it would. Maybe I could actually uh, supply the same houses. Uh, linked to 11 houses, yeah. It seems it would allow it. I linked up to the roads, it would. Hmm. Might be worth it. 
All right, let's give it a try. We'll experiment. Oops. I mean, this is kind of a hodgepodge way of doing it, but if it works. Ah, you're only linked to eight. Damn it. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to have to move you then. Yeah, you'd be linked to 11 from here. Now, if we can get you to make some fish oil, then one of our peeps to move it across every now and then. Oops, did I pause it? Yeah, that's it. I want you to move the fish oil over, and I want more fishing to be done. Ooh, wow. We actually need to upgrade. My lord, wasn't expecting that. Sure. Let's get an upgrade going then. I want to peep. Ah, damn it. Oh, my lord. There we go. We're going to be using a lot more fish, so let's get two of them working on it. Actually, that being said, I don't think we really need that much more. Yeah, most of them are just stood there now. Uh, move that across then. I Alternatively, I could have one of them just uh, moving the cooked fish across. Since they can pass through the wagons. It's a small enhancement, but you know, it might actually work out. But there we go. That is actually really good. I mean, it's not making us a lot of money, but those coins are well, they're the, the hardest to get that we can make right now, so it's not a bad trade-off either. Uh, that will also mean that we could now start looking to advance logistics, but ew, it would take so long. So long. It would take the better, well, more than a buck and a half each cycle, and I don't know how many cycles it would take. And 12 blue coins each. Yikes. I think we'd need to wait on that one. Anyone else having to deal with neighbors still sending off fireworks? Oh, I imagine quite a few people, yeah. Hey, at nine, how you doing, buddy? I enjoy the idea of having multiple levels on a city. The only thing that I, I dislike is how abusable that system is. And, oh, does it get abused. Oh, my word. The abuse is uh, very abusive. It... it <laughs> so many people will just drown the system with that. Um, how are we doing there? Not too bad, actually. You know what? I think there's enough that we could probably upgrade you to a wagon. Um, but yeah, it's a nice system, and you can make some very pretty cities that way, as long as you can hold yourself back from just going OTT with it. I suspect it would be better if you just move cooked fish. Also, we definitely need more workers in here, thinking about it. You need to be a worker in the kitchen for now. There we go. Give us an extra 25%. That isn't too terribly bad. It'll help, certainly. I don't think we need two people over here, though. One is more than enough. So we could increase it then with this. There we go. Three workers may produce enough now because we're splitting it quite aggressively there. But yeah, this uh, particular one is converting two red coins into two blue coins via fish. If you want to think of it like that. 
Right, how are we doing? Doing quite well, actually. So I think it's about time we turn back on nails. 